youth in Rwanda constitute about 60% of the country's 12 million population. The Republic of Rwanda's Ministry of Youth, Culture and Sports defines youth as those from age 16 to 30 years, a deviation from some other African countries. The overall objective of the national youth policy focuses on promoting the economic, social, cultural, intellectual and moral welfare of the youth. The national youth policy is part of the Vision 2020 strategy, which incorporated the Millennium Development Goals. Mrs. Rosemary Mbabaze is the Minister of Youth in Rwanda. The 38-year-old freely associates with the young world, responding to their every question. You can't know their challenges, you can't know what they face, you can't know how can do advocacy for them unless you're with them and you hear from them. So it's so difficult now to go ahead and really decide and make a policy on their behalf when you don't know what they experience. According to Rosemary, the orientation for the youth in the East African country is a change of mindset and so the need to invest their energy and their strength towards positive lines. Rwanda is currently tackling the menace of illicit drugs among the youth. The reason why we revise even their age to empower them so early, because even our president liberated this nation when he was in the 20s, in the 30s. He believes in the youth because he managed to do it. He believes they can do it if very, really well channeled. But at the same time, they, they, this country was destroyed by the youth. And if they are not well mentored, if they are not well nurtured, if they are not empowered in the right way, they destroy. Renda is one of the youth executive members. She's confident that the Rwandan youth can compete with others in international circle and are ready to take up big responsibilities. We are not in the time that we should just go in the bush and fight because we have uh, independence, we have liberation. We are just put at the center of transformation because we are growing as a country. We need to grow our economy, we need to grow our talents, we need to grow our knowledge to make sure that we can compete on the world. A number of young people are part of the Rwandan government led by President Paul Kagame, who himself stepped into power at a very young age. The Ministry of Technical and Vocational Education and Training is confident that the Made in Rwanda policy and the National Employment Program's goal of creating at least 200,000 jobs per year will benefit the youth in the country. Loretta Chiogo. Channels Television News.